Everyone, even with a mask and snorkel, everyone who goes into the ocean can quickly see what those who just stay on the surface have a hard time just visualizing, getting it, that the ocean is alive. It's full of life from the surface to the greatest depths. It's a living system. It isn't just H2O plus salt. It's, a, it's just amazing how much is there. In the single gulp of a whale shark, you may get more diversity in terms of the big wedges of life, the phyla of animals, the categories of life that make up life on Earth, than arguably than you can find on all of the land put together. Fifteen or so phyla of animals could be engulfed in the plankton that are swallowed by a whale shark. And that's about the number of phyla of animals that occur in all of the rainforests, all of the, all of the area above water put together. We're just beginning to appreciate the diversity of life that we share space with on this planet. We're just beginning to assign names to most of the creatures that are out there. According to the census of marine life that came to some kind of a conclusion after 10 years of working to kind of get a grip on how many of what kind of creatures live in the ocean, they came up with a figure of some 250,000 that were recorded with names. But what they also discovered is the magnitude of our ignorance. The estimate is at least a million, probably closer to something between 10 and 50 million species, if you want to go down to the splintery ends of diversity, out there in the ocean. But we just plain don't know. What we are beginning to appreciate, though, is that it matters. It matters. When are we going to get it through our minds that this is wildlife out there in the ocean? And that maybe we should think of it in terms of valuing it alive rather than just on our plates. The changes in coral reefs, really important to know. Maybe if all the coral reefs in the world disappeared, the life of the world could go on without them, but it would be a diminished world. It would be a less resilient world. It would be a less complete world world. And already, as I said, about half of them are gone, or they're in a state of great and sharp decline. We're a part of nature, not apart from it. We need to seek that place that we could not do 50 years ago, or 500, or 5,000, because we did not see ourselves in perspective, or know that we have the capacity to really undermine the very planet that keeps us alive. Now we know. Now we have the ability to find an enduring place for ourselves within the natural systems that sustain us.